it up, dog? This is Caleb Jones, and this is Alpha Male 2.0, and I am in Las Vegas right now. That's what that is back there. Freedom focused lifestyle design for men. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do five videos a week here on how to make both your business life and your woman life more free. I have been talking lately to a lot of guys who are really immersed in the red pill world, which is a, generally speaking, a good thing. I am technically in the red pill world. I am a proud member, more or less, of the red pill community. And that doesn't mean I agree with everything every red pill guy says, of course. But the challenge with the red pill, now let me go back and say this first, actually. The red pill is good. This is a good thing for men. Anything that helps men, I'm for. I'm very happy with the red pill. If you are a member of the red pill community, I'm glad you are. You need to keep consuming that content. That being said, there's a challenge with guys who overdo it on the red pill content. They overdo it. And the reason they overdo it is because they get immersed in a lot of the negativity that is part of a lot of red pill content. So the example that I've given before, the metaphor I've given, and I'll expand on it, is you've got a hardcore red pill guy, right? You've got this hardcore red pill dude, not a guy who occasionally reads red pill blogs, but a hardcore red pill guy. And he walks out of his building, he's downtown, and it's pouring down rain. And he's under the little tarp, and he's looking up at this pouring down rain, and the streets are, just, there's water in the streets, and he's like, God damn it, this fucking rain. This fucking rain's bullshit. This isn't fucking fair. It wasn't supposed to rain today. It was supposed to be sunny. Now everything's worse. Now it's gonna be harder to get laid and start a business. I'm gonna get fucking wet. I shouldn't get fucking wet. That's not fucking fair. This is bullshit, this fucking rain. And he's going on and on and on about how horrible the rain is. As he's bitching and moaning, the Alpha Male 2.0 exits the same building he just came out of and he walks up to his red pill brother and he looks at the rain and he looks at his red pill brother and he says, yeah, man, this rain sucks. This rain is a real problem. This rain is not fair. Then the Alpha Male 2.0 pulls out this big giant umbrella, this big giant umbrella that he's been building for a week. And he puts it over his head and he walks out in the rain and he walks down the street. He walks 10 blocks and he gets wet because the umbrella doesn't cover all of it because it's pouring down rain and it's windy. So he gets wet. He does get wet. It is a problem. Then he goes into another building and he fucks Scarlett Johansson or any other celebrity. Pick your favorite hot girl celebrity. Let's say Scarlett Johansson because that's an easy one. He's fucking Scarlett Johansson. And as he's fucking Scarlett Johansson and she's screaming his name and he comes inside her without a condom. As this is happening, the red pill guy is still 10 blocks down the street, standing in front of his building, bitching about the rain. Now, let me go back and rewind this a second. Notice that the Alpha Male 2.0 did not disagree with the red pill guy. He didn't say, there's no rain. What's the problem with the rain? That would be a left winger. A left winger would say, so? So what if it's raining? Rain's great. No, the Alpha Male 2.0 agrees with the red pill guy and says, yes, there is rain here. It's a severe problem. Yes. The difference is eventually the alpha male 2.0 actually took action to improve his life. Now, because it was raining, it was more difficult to accomplish the thing that the alpha male 2.0 wanted to accomplish. But at least he eventually got there. The hardcore angry red pill guy didn't get anywhere. He is still sitting down 10 blocks down the street, bitching about how he can't get laid because of the rain, as the Alpha Male 2.0 is busy getting laid with Scarlett Johansson. Yes, I'm exaggerating the metaphor, of course. It's called exaggeration. It's called hyperbole. I'm engaging in it, I admit. Correct. But you understand what I'm saying. The challenge with some of you guys and this red pill content, and I can even tell, I'm at the point, now, I've been doing this a long time, I can tell when I read a comment on one of my videos or one of my blogs or someone else's blog, I can tell the way the guy writes I can tell, okay, this is a hardcore red pill guy. He's using words like hypergamy and the wall and talking about IQ and shit like that. I can tell the verbiage that he's using. And I can also tell that likely he is not taking a massive amount of action to improve his woman life or his business life. Instead, he's on these red pill blogs agreeing with all the problems. Yes, when I read a red pill blog, 95% of the time, 90% of the time, I am nodding in agreement as to the diagnosis of the problem. Yes, I see the problem. Yes, I agree it's a problem. The difference is I try to focus on very specific solutions so you can fix your life 
in spite of the fact we live in a collapsing left-wing civilization. That way, regardless of the fact that there are real problems with the world, you can still accomplish the things that you want, even though the difficulty bar is raised. Yes, hypergamy is a problem. Yes, yes, feminists are a problem. Yes, SJWs are a problem. Yes, these are all problems. I agree they're problems. But that doesn't mean you can't have sex with attractive women because of hypergamy. That doesn't mean you can't start a location-dependent business and get to decent income because of hypergamy. You can accomplish these things in spite of these real problems that are real problems that I agree are problems. There's a difference between wallowing in the problems and wallowing in the negative and saying, isn't this awful? This is terrible. This is awful. This is horrible. This is so unfair. It was so much better in the 1950s or whatever the argument is. Every red pill guy is a little different on this stuff. Instead of saying, yes, these are real problems, they aren't fair, and they make these things more difficult, that means I need to now go take action to fix my fucking life. I need to optimize my woman life, and I need to optimize my business life. These things are not made impossible because of Democrats, or because of feminists, or because of hypergamy, or because of whatever. They're not impossible. They are a little more difficult. That is true in some respects. I've talked about before how in many cases it was actually easier in some respects to get laid back in the 1980s when I was a kid than it is now. Even though we didn't have Tinder, we didn't have online dating, we didn't have internet, any of that stuff. So I understand, but there's a difference between wallowing in the problems and taking action. If you consume red pill content, that includes my content, try not to get too worked up and too over-focused on the societal level negative problems that you can't fucking fix anyway. By the way, that's the next piece to this. The red pill guy bitching about the rain. Is there anything he can do about the fact that it's raining? Can he snap his fingers and make it stop raining? Can he vote for a certain guy named Donald Trump to make it stop raining? No, it's going to fucking rain regardless of what he does. So he's got two choices. He can sit there and bitch and moan about the rain, or he can pull out his fucking umbrella. He can walk outside. Yes, he'll get wet, and no one likes getting wet. I understand. But while he's getting wet, he can accomplish his objectives, even though he has to work a little harder. So don't get hung up on the things you can't change. Don't overfocus on the negatives, which I agree are real. Instead, acknowledge the negatives, understand why they exist, and then take action to accomplish your objectives in spite of those negatives. Alpha Male 2.0 is all about exploiting the negatives and the positives that we're experiencing today instead of looking at all the problems and saying, oh, I guess I'm fucked. I guess I can't get laid. I guess I can't hook up with anyone pretty. I guess I can't find a quality wife. I guess I can't have children. I guess I can't start a business. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck in my country. None of these things are accurate. You know what I'm saying. That doesn't mean these problems don't exist. That doesn't mean these problems are not real. They are. They are. I am not a left winger. I have never voted for a Democrat in my entire life, and I never will. These are real problems. But you can take action and accomplish things in spite of these problems. I'll see you very soon. Bye.